This is the newest entry into the Tiny Whoop scene. It is the Warlock 80, um, 80 millimeters, and you'll see it's a pretty funky color scheme, and to be honest, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm loving it at the moment. Uh, it flies great, it's really fast, um, and it's a definite upgrade for you guys looking to get something more out of your Tiny Whoop than sort of uh, the cheap $10, $20 Chinese copies. So let's take a closer look, show you some flight footage, uh, and see what it's like. Okay, so here it is in all its glory, and at first it doesn't look much different from a normal Tiny Whoop, but as soon as you get your hands on this, I can assure you, you'll feel the difference. This is some serious build quality compared to those cheap 10 or 20 dollar Chinese ones such as the Ishin E10. Um, you know this is not going to break at all no matter how much you bash this um, and it does really feel really quite like you've what you've paid for. You know this is definitely a good quality build um, and it's going to be around for some time. So taking a look at the inside you'll see we've got the antenna on here um, and that's got a simple little plug on here that you can attach so you could attach an external antenna if you want or if this broke um, so that's quite nice sort of a modular design and we've also got modular um, motors as well because you'll see we'll be able to just unplug and plug them back in without soldering which is quite good for any of you guys who haven't got soldering yet um, or if you just simply want to have a nice easy way to put your motors in and out. Uh, you'll see we've got the uh, battery plug on the back here that will go underneath and the battery will slot on there um, and also at the back you'll see we've got the USB port, uh, micro USB port so that we can put um, it into a computer, hook it up to clean flight, change all the PIDs and stuff um, and get away with it. It does come with um, stock PIDs which are actually alright, they're able to fly but I definitely suggest playing around with them a little bit. So it's got a micro F3 flight controller in here which reduces the total weight to 38 grams uh, of the whole thing which is um, probably sort of average for a tiny whoops like these. Um, it's also got a video transmitter, you can see it written here, video transmitter at 25 megawatts um, and it's also got an unstringed display which is really nice, that's sort of an advanced feature that you're not going to get with these cheaper whoops so that's uh, when you've got your FPV goggles and on things you'll be able to check the battery levels and check all sorts of things you can do with an OSD so that's a really nice touch. It comes with um, a receiver of your choice, you can do Frisky, FlySky, DSM2 or X uh, and Futaba I believe so they should be compatible with pretty much any transmitter you've got. At the front there we've got the camera which is 600 TVL which is a sort of standard um, but it's also got quite a, a nice field of view um, and it does look pretty good. I'll show you some footage of that in a sec once we go and look at the flight. So a quick note about this, once you turn it on for the first time you'll need to pop the hood uh, and hold down this little bind button here. Um, it took me a couple minutes to find that for the first time. So if this is new, um, this first time you've got it, hold down this bind button when you're binding to your transmitter and you'll be set to go. So the battery it comes with is this little 300 milliamp hour, uh, 3.7 volt. So it's one cell, but I do believe you can upgrade that to a two cell if you want. Uh, so this is 35C as well. Um, so it's decent power, packs a little bit of a punch, especially on something this small. Um, but there's definitely the option for upgrading the battery as well there. You also get a pack um, of spare propeller blades in there as well. Um, I'd probably recommend flying with the hood on um, if you're beginning out because you don't want to damage this circuitry in here. Um, but maybe take it off if you want to save some weight later down the line. So anyway, that's just a quick overview of uh, the drone itself, what it comes with, what it looks like. Uh, and let's go ahead and look at how it performs uh, in a flight test. So here's some flight footage and after flying about with this thing for a couple of batteries it is very good, it's very steady, um, very agile and it's a really nice whoop to fly, it's very precise um, and you could seriously go around in a very small indoor track on this. Um, I didn't have one set up but you could easily do it, it's very manoeuvrable and very nice and easy to control so that is a massive plus um, and it's something I think really shines out about this is the controllability um, and just how responsive and great it is to fly honestly. So looking at the on-screen display it's quite useful, you'll see we've got the mode in the top left and the battery in the bottom left, um, we've got the sort of horizon altometer angle meter thing in the middle uh, that tells us what angle we're at. We've also got a low battery warning, um, battery voltage monitor but you're going to want to go ahead up and set this in clean flight because um, it wasn't set up as you can see here for the right voltage uh, to set an alarm because uh, you can see it going off now at the moment when it shouldn't be. Um, it's got acro mode, um, horizon mode and stable mode as you would expect so you can get out and go and do some flips and stuff. I would advise probably doing flips and stuff like that in a bit more of a higher ceiling because you know doing it indoors with about um, a two or three meter ceiling you're going to need a bit more air um, otherwise you're just going to bash back down to the floor like I did because uh, these aren't unfortunately brushless motors but they're still very powerful nonetheless um, and I definitely recommend it. So anyway that was just a very quick overview of the Warlock 80. If you want to check it, link's in the description. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.